Dynamic frequency selection is a technique used in wireless networks to detect and avoid the frequencies that are being used by the radar systems. DFS testing is used to ensure that wireless devices that operate in 5 GHz band are compliant with the DFS requirements set by FCC in United States or HC in Europe and others. The basic requirement is that any Wi-Fi access point that wishes to use the DFS channels should be able to detect any radar activity and move off the channel and stay off the channel for a certain period of time to ensure that there is no interference with critical radar communications. It is important to properly test and validate the DFS functionality of a wireless access point before submitting it for DFS certification. DFS certification can be expensive and quite time consuming and failures can cause huge delays in product releases. Sir, our DFS testing has failed. What? Normally, to do this testing, our customers use big bulky test equipment and take their products to pre-certification labs. Now, this process can be quite expensive and time consuming. So, we set out to solve this problem for our customers by introducing the most compact and most affordable DFS automated test solution in the industry. So, let me introduce to you the Candela DFS test product setup. So, here you can see the entire DFS test setup in this very compact form factor. This setup has the Candela radar signal generator to generate all the radar pulses, the Candela CT521B chassis to control the signal generator, run all the automation and also create background traffic and generate test reports, and a small RF chamber to provide RF isolation for this test setup. We offer fully comprehensive test suite for DFS. We can perform compliance tests which include detection probability test and detection bandwidth test. The detection probability test aims to check if an access point can detect the radar signals which are generated on its active channel. The radar pulses will be generated based on different parameters like the pulse repeating interval, the number of pulses and the pulse width. For a given test case, certain number of trials must be conducted to see if AP can detect the radar. These parameters of radar pulse might vary for every test case based on the type of radar which is being tested. After triggering the pulses for specified trials, we need to check how many times the AP has detected the radar. Now, this detection percentage of radar by the access point must be greater than or equal to the specified value set by the respective governing bodies. Now, let's talk about the second test. The detection bandwidth test will measure the range of frequencies in which the device can detect the radar signal. The bandwidth must be at least 20 MHz wide around the center frequency of the AP's operating channel. Starting from the center frequency, the radar signals are injected in 1 MHz increments in both the directions. This process is done until the DUT fails to detect the radar signal. The total range in between the upper frequency limit and the lower frequency limit is called the detection bandwidth. Now to pass this test, the detection bandwidth should be greater than or equal to the total bandwidth set by the governing bodies. Both these tests are fully automated and our software will generate nice test reports with clear pass or fail results and detailed logs. For more info, please contact sales at the rate Thanks for watching this video.